So two tips to navigate the hidden cost challenge when it comes to buying event technology solutions. The first tip is know exactly what it is you need. And I know this can sound counterintuitive. I know if you're in the exploratory phase, maybe you've got several stakeholders involved in the decision, lots of departments within your organizations with wants and needs when it comes to buying this piece of technology. But here's the thing. Quite often, especially if you're opting into enterprise level um, agreements or bespoke agreements, it's, it's difficult for the platform to price accordingly if you don't tell them what you're looking for. And it's also difficult for you to benchmark that pricing, to um, budget for that pricing if you don't know what it is you want. So it's really important to be very specific. Do you need PCI compliance? Do you need, uh, I don't know, social wall sharing? Do you need uh, two dedicated account managers? Do you need 24 seven real time in your time zone customer support? These are the kind of details it, it is beneficial to have to hand when you are asking for pricing from platforms, okay? So know what it is that you want and be very specific. Those are my top two tips because that is the only way a platform can price you up accordingly. So know what your needs are and two, specifically, communicate those needs. One of the things that happens when we put out requests for proposals quite often is platforms will come back and say, hey, well, how many attendees? Uh, how long is the event? How, over what period of time uh, will this platform be needed and used? So these are the details that we often help our clients to shape up in advance before the request for proposal goes back out. And what it does is it means that the pricing is far more reflective or accurately indicative of um, you know, what you might be looking for, which of course means you can budget accordingly, but also you can benchmark more accurately against other platforms that you are currently reviewing and uh, assessing um, for purchase. So again, if you've got any comments or questions, please feel free to pop them in the comment section, or you can drop me a direct message.